Scoops McDorvenshire here with your Remember Me Top 10 checking out the 10 best moments of the previous Fight Me tournament in the order they happened. Let's take a look. First up, giving us a taste of the most chaotic combatant in the entire arena, we have Utamashi riding the attack of Coptimus' assist trophy Sukapon in order to go in for the kill. This isn't the last time we'll see characters take a hit to deliver an even bigger blow, but this was something else. Next up, we have Entire Horse's gimmicks underneath the stage itself, taking advantage of Mii Brawler's overconfidence and poor recovery to lure him off the platform and leave him for dead. Entire Horse's defense by using his down B to block Mii Brawler's projectile was a split-second decision for the ages, and the rest was just a waiting game that Entire Horse won. After that, Utamashi returns using an intricately planned attack to hold off Dwight's final smash, scoring a kill before Dwight could squeeze it off and showing the true mind games that Utamashi's willing to play. Afterwards, we watched the reveal of It's Me, Austin, who bragged to Me Gunner's face about owning the Me Foundation that created and enslaved her. Though Me Gunner managed to score a kill in her fury, It's Me, Austin came back and used her own rage against her to strike back within seconds. However, that match gave us another notable moment, as Me Gunner's life was seemingly on the line of Survivor's Instinct on her part combined with It's Me, Austin's hubris led to the latter's ultimate defeat. However, his last moment seemed almost intentional. Could that blunder have a hidden meaning? In a much simpler moment, Box of Scraps' hubris also caused his downfall as a giant enemy crab attacked his weak point for massive damage. In Troy Baker's words, Edge Boy may have loved and lost, but all Box of Scraps got was crabs. Having spectated a previous moment, which Udamashi willingly perished from a fake smash ball just to distract his opponent, Entire Horse decided to use this strategy against the madman himself, killing the both of them to stall for time to prevent a final smash from Utamashi before Entire Horse's FS meter filled up, evening the playing field in a matter of seconds. However, the final moments of the battle deserve a closer look, though Entire Horse finally grew comfortable on the playing field with an ally by his side and the loyal Shovel Knight, the truly shocking moment of the match came when Utamashi knocked Entire Horse out of the way before burning his final smash, appearing to willingly allow Entire Horse to take the match. With Utamashi on the field, a move like that could mean anything. The semifinals on the other side also bore interesting fruit with Me Gunner 2 capping Edge Boy. In a pivotal moment, Me Gunner found the exact item she needed to survive Edge Boy's final smash, a metal box, allowing her to finish Edge Boy off while standing at an impressive 202%. And the tourney couldn't be complete without the crowning moment in which Me Gunner came from nearly a full life behind, buying time for her FS meter to fill up and waiting with her signature patience to use the move at a critical moment, turning the tide of the battle within seconds and taking the fight Me crown. That was this tourney's Remember Me Top 10. Back to you, Dale. Disclaimer that Alpha Rad is a YouTuber that also does tournaments and is more successful and better than I am. So watch his videos if you're watching this, because I don't want it to seem like I'm stealing. So I'm giving credit to my sources. Now, we have a rather different cast of characters, and by characters I mean real people. We're real people here, folks. Um, but Are we? Um, I am, of course, Flintopics1138 slash Cable slash Dale, whatever you want to call me. We have Troy Baker here. Hello. We have Giraffe. Hello. We have Galactic Hero. Hello. And we have three people who I think have not um, made an appearance on the channel yet, so whoever wants to introduce themselves. I'm Gary. I'm Rachel McBoker. <laughs> We'll go with Big Boat Face for short. Okay. And I guess I'll go with my Smash name. Frodo. Frodo. All right. Um, welcome to Fight Me Two. As I was telling everyone in the room earlier, half of these fighters are returning from the first Fight Me tournament, and half of them are brand new faces. So hang on, let me get my my good old trusty document out that actually has all the introductions on it. <laughs> And, um, let's begin- Oh, also, custom stages turned off. There's a very specific uh, reason for that. I'm just going to actually say the reason. The third Fight Me tournament will be exclusively custom stages. Ooh. So I'm saving them all for that. Um, but, without further ado, let's begin. Let's go. Fight Me 2. <laughs> also, is there a rating for this? Video is a PG PG thirteen. Hey, you tweet. MA. Whatever you want. Okay. Say whatever. You NC seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, We're just all gonna be having sex on camera. Ooh. On camera. On camera. On, on recording. <laughs> all right. If we're all ready to go, <laughs> let's go. Don't skip. We should just describe every single actions in like sexual innuendos. I mean. If you know, or if you're familiar with their first fighter, you may in fact start doing that. Oh. Wait. Oh. In oh. one corner. The boy. Oh. Edge. <laughs> After experiencing a 
sexual awakening and a true heartbreak all in one, Edgeboy oh. has done some maturing and soul searching since the last tournament. He is now returned with confidence and clarity and is ready to re-enter both the dating scene and the fighting scene, hoping to prove more successful in both this time around. Woo! He's my son! In the other corner, oh, he's, he's realizing that there isn't much money to be found in searching for buried treasure, our boy has come to the tournament in hopes of funding his own pirate expeditions. After years of causing trouble on the high seas and engaging in the illegal practice of cosplay, he's here to swashbuckle his way to glory. So... We have our two boys. One has some experience in the tournament, one's a newcomer. Um, I tried my best to give Edge by um, the colors of the fly flag. There aren't a ton the of options sword of many with the me uh, options, but I tried my best. So did we just confirm that Nintendo's homophobic? Yes. yes. This, yes. Is, this is definitely the only evidence we have for this. <laughs> oh. I mean, really, I think Nintendo has actually put it, put the, oh, put the, no. oh, oh, no. oh, a huge oh, mistake by Edge by. That was clearly the fake one. Oh, man, I forgot to do my review video. There's going to be a five-minute okay. review. Our boy wasted it. It's yeah. Fine. That's all right. Um, that it will be in the video. It's just no one in this room has seen the review. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, if you're watching this at home, pretend I didn't say that because you did just watch the video like two minutes ago. Um, anyways, we have Edge by making some bold moves. Oh, oh, that's a great comeback. Edge has his thing. Wait, yeah. Four starts to three Oh, three. Okay, good. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, oh, Because really, the amount of LGBTQ representation is determined by however, it, oh! however many gay me fighters you choose to miss. <laughs> if I if I really go if I really make a ton, I could bring it up to fifty percent representation if I wanted. But that's a lot of work. No, but when you click random though, that's true. Yeah. In fact, uh, me fighters are not selectable with random at oh. all. So you make a better point. So come on, Nintendo, get on it. I also put a timer in case they really start dragging it out. No, it's okay. No, I think they have a Oh! 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 Not away yet! Brother! And they're close, they are too. Not even. Our boy oh, has oh, 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 oh. He's wasted it be before, hard. though. Oh! What Wait, so what Look happens if the timer runs out? That, that, that is that definitely is. the Citizen King hand clap. Oh, yeah. It's that. It's that. And um, yeah. I'm getting word that, in fact, much in the same way that Box of Scraps made a form a connection with Edge Boy, <laughs> it seems our boy is getting some kind of feeling. <laughs> might be having a sexual awakening of his own. <laughs> but that is it for round one. And it for our boy. Round one, battle one. And yes, our boy is already out. Now, we have two newcomers. Don't skip this battle. I would not skip this battle. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. <laughs> In one corner. Oh, good. The product of an experiment gone wrong while trying to concoct the most ambitious crossover in history. Oh. Gand Elf has arrived from the planet Mac to take names and eat cats, and he can't find any cats. <laughs> Declaring that his fellow fighters shall not pass his own fighting skills, he hopes one day to merge all of reality into one giant crossover. And where else to start this conquest but the Fight Me tournament itself? In the other corner, Genetically bred to kill aliens and not afraid of anything, Mr. Chef has retired from his military <laughs> life to take up and a more has oh, lost the why he retired. To take up a more intense calling, baking. With a sentient dating sim as his girlfriend and a grumpy <laughs> two-legged centipede as his best friend, he has arrived to see if he's still got it, or if he should just stay in the kitchen. Oh, oh. Well, now I now. Them, yeah. Nah, most ambitious crossover in history. <laughs> It's oh, gotta win. I believe in you. Oh, 
Also, Oof. if Oof. if we're told if we're told that there's someone who's deciding between fighting and making food, <laughs> I'm not too sad if they abandon their life of violence <laughs> yeah. and yeah. instead stay Wait, in the kitchen. What did you retire from? Our military service. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say yeah, it's very well. He is the famous Mr. Chef, of course. <laughs> make pies, not war. <laughs> or make meat pies. Mm. Hey. Make fray pies. You make fray pies. Oh. Oh. This this show does not endorse the making of fray pies. Oh, oh they both have meter smash. Oh. Gandalf mysteriously going for the final smash. You can't stack those. Oh, and let's oh. go! Oh. And it gets oh. 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 Kind of seemed like he was about to jump into that. Though. Yeah, that was yeah. a bold choice. Everyone appreciates the elf humor I put into that. Oh, I yes. love elf. That's, I'm, See, I'm really I'm playing directly to my key audience here. <laughs> what See, inspired you with elf? How did elf I come to mind? I don't know. <laughs> the only thing I associate with elf are the, is the one Simpsons. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. No, can you recover? Can you still which... recover? You guess another upbeat? Not no. enough! No. Not. I only associate Alf with the one Simpsons episode in which Bart sells his soul, and then when he tries to... Oh, we're going. Well, I won't spoil what happens too much, but there's a discussion of using some of the money for Alf pods. Not pods. Pogs. Pogs, sorry. They're back in pog form. It's very important to the plot. It is. It's exceedingly important, the weird elf side bit. Yes. You know, fun fact, elf actually appeared to Simpsons in the season 8 episode, Springfield Files. Really? Yes, it is. He appears in the police lineup, and uh, Mulder and Scully are showing it to Homer Simpson in the X-Files crossover. Oh, I'm learning so much more about Simpsons than I ever thought. And people get, you know, like, Jack, how could you remember one Game of Thrones episode called The Climb? <laughs> Which is all about climbing. <laughs> oh, I don't mess let's, around with my Let's Simpsons clarify. Oh, 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 I, oh, At one point, Galactic Hero, myself, quoted a line from Game of Thrones, and Giraffe over here named the season, episode, and name of the episode. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't do that. The speech was about oh, someone talking this? about a climb. During a sequence of people climbing. Speaking from of, the episode The Climb. Speaking of climbing. <laughs> yes. Oh, the oh, oh, from oh, Master oh, Chef deflecting the tornado. Will it be oh, enough? Oh, 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 the threat of Gandalf taking yeah, no. over the universe with his own oh, See, that's a happy class. class. He seems happy that's a supportive it. club. Uh, my threat is over. Ugh. Oh. oh boy, faceless. Alright. Oh boy. Uh, Here we oh. have a special guest fighter. In one corner. Hey! Yes. Happy Town Falcao hey! has come to fight for the glory of Portugal and to stop any unsavory elements from winning the prize money. The list of unsavory elements includes every other fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, I forgot like it. You laughed really hard and then you wrote it. <laughs> I forgot my own jokes. Uh, in the other corner, despite his fears that he would never be able to succeed unless fighting on the winning side, entire horse has come to realize after winning a respectable second place in the previous fighting tournament that. Perhaps he himself is the winning side. move in which he gets the final smash, but also, also gets the exploding one. Leaving his rival Polnareff in the dust behind him, entire horse is back to see if he can take the crown instead of once more playing second fiddle. Also, I now understand Polnareff. Yes. You'll you'll, you'll soon see, understand entire horse. <laughs> The best French world. Um, Galactic Hero, if you'd like to provide a little more context for Capital Falco. Ah, yes. Or if you don't want to, that's okay too. Well, just just a little bit to let people know that this is in reference to a classic. Ooh! ooh, ooh oh, go, especially now that Entire Horse also has a smash move. But, 
Capitao Falcao is a reference to the classic 2014 film of the same name, featuring a Portuguese superhero defending the fascist government that existed in Portugal uh, at the time in the 60s. Excellent. And the movie's a time. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 Well, I wouldn't say the that the not, movie the is pro fascist. The movie is obviously <laughs> satirical. Yeah. Yes. Very, very satirical. The superhero is defending Portugal from democracy. Excellent. <laughs> and there's a bunch of communist like ninjas at one point. Yes, there are commune ninjas. <laughs> Good. Commune. Exactly. Like the exactly what they're tripping. Holding on to that final smash for quite a, quite a while. Oh, Maybe hoping that, that, that he can kill entire horse before using it. Yeah. A risky play. Oh, oh, oh. it's gonna work out though. It's gonna be worth it. Oh, 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 could have phrased that better, but well, you know. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna just move on. Alright, All right, I, I do hope he knows how to use it. <laughs> it doesn't, he's kind of just walking it's around. Clear. With it. He's oh. not really doing anything with it right now. Oh, a ditto, that's gonna help him out. He now has a second entire horse on the field. As we've established, the entire horse works well with others. Oh, oh yeah. And he now has a buddy that looks exactly like oh. him. Oh, 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 Yeah, the people downstairs like, why do our upstairs upstairs neighbors love Salazar? <laughs> Maybe it's Salazar Slytherin. Yeah, fun fact, if you recognize the name, it is indeed very intentional that Salazar Slytherin is named after a Portuguese dictator. And J.K. Rowling will soon reveal something very horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not that horrible. It's just that Salazar Slytherin is President Salazar. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's going on my Twitter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up. Do not skip this battle. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> yep. With buns of steel and a heart of gold, Love Connie is a six-foot-tall lady who just happens to have an Adam's apple. <laughs> When she realized that not only could the Smash tur- the Fight Me tournament put her Jane Fonda workout video stamina and deadly jazzercise techniques to good use, but that it all- was also significantly easier than RuPaul's Drag Race due to a lack of a lip sync portion, Love Connie immediately signed up. Fair Indignant enough. after the defeat at the hands of an American interloper, Wizabeth <laughs> is back yes. in the yes. looking once more to expand her kingdom and gain another crown for herself. She truly believes her destiny is victory, declaring before her subjects that I am inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> this is a kind of scary looking, tor- like a stage. Wow. Oh yeah. This is, a, like, this is an intense Ven- stage. Is, is the Venom the name of the stage? Venom. Oh, Venom. good Venom. live was it? Venom, 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 Venom. I uh, Venom. hate Venom. that I have to say Venom? the word Venom. Or do you think it's Venom? This is also a Venom? classic oldie. Yes. Although the background has been. We update. Uh, update I would imagine. I would imagine that the mechanics of this one have changed a little. Oh, hello. There's and a stage hazards there. are on. In case it wasn't what clear. Are stage hazards? Uh, things in the environment can just do damage to you, such as uh, our wing shooting you. What are stage hazards? Bad. But in a tournament like this, good. absolutely good. Oh, oh, hey, oh, 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 not good for Love Connie. But Love Connie does have a stock advantage. Uh, gone. But Love Connie got her final smash just as she died, so it got reset a little bit. Oh. That was an impressive move by Elizabeth. Yeah. She is fighting two steps ahead here. She is here to win and expand the empire. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, anyways. Water break. Oh, oh, no. Stage hazard's back. Who's it gonna shoot at? Who knows? I don't think that one shoots. Oh, that one? Okay. No, it's just a platform. Oh. Is this meant to be Star Wars? Uh, it's meant to be sci-fi. Yeah. Oh, boy. Love Connie's got it back. Can she use it to good effect this I think... I think this is a tough... Oh, she's gonna get Star Wars. Oh, Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, is that it? I did good damage though. That actually. Oh, this is, that out, this is a harder location for uh, the Swordswoman's final smash. I think just in general, uh, sword fighters tend to have a lot of um, straight attacks, ironically. Um, this is surprising. Oh, but. Yeah, this stage is not so good for it. And that's another ah! hit from Elizabeth. Yeah, that's probably... Elizabeth only kills with final smashes. Ooh, that's close. Yeah. No, yeah, we're completely evened up right now, aren't we? Yeah. This is the, the closest match we've gotten to so far. Mm -hmm. Though, so have we had any two stocks yet? I don't believe so. Well, yeah. was Captain Falcon two stocks? Yeah, Captain. Cap yeah, Captain. Oh, okay. Cap yeah, I don't. I, I don't remember. I do. Wait, what do you mean at two stocks? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Falco was two stars at the moment. Yeah. Barely. Yeah, barely. Ooh, a beast ball. That can oh. do some major damage. And Elizabeth just drops it. That's <laughs> an interesting strategy. And she picks it back up! Oh. Keeping oh. her on her toes! Is anyone gonna go for the Left party, go grab it! Is gonna Somebody grab oh, something. Oh god. Oh, god. oh god. I'm real worried. Oh no, oh no. Look, Don't hit the other one! Oh, well, you she took it from Elizabeth. Yeah, so I think that was actually a fairly really smart move. Yeah. Alright, okay. if you could just land that. Oh. And land oh. it in the right direction. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello. oh, it goes through! Oh. Yeah, it does. Oh. That might do it. Oh, is that a kid? Oh, 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 Was a good one! Wow. Oh, I was defeated what so early! Hand. Elizabeth uh, retreats in humiliation. Love Connie moves on. <laughs> Alright, moving over to the other side of the bracket. We have <gasps> two oldies. Ah. Oh. Ah. Humiliated after his defeat at the hands of Dwight, the newly dubbed Free Swordfighter is itching to prove himself, mm. trying to tamp down his feelings of jealousy now that Free Gunner has taken the Fight Me crown. He's determined to take the fight to the Me Foundation itself, even if the general populace won't believe the crimes of It's Me Austin. <laughs> Realizing that the defects have split up and that his strategies of tracking them down have gone awry, It's Me Austin seems to have possibly let Me Gunner win the game on purpose, knowing that she would win the tournament. With the footage acquired from the final battle, It's Me Austin demanded that scientists at the Me Foundation develop a new weapon to surpass his defects. In the meantime, he's back in the fray ready to assuage the public's doubts that ensure them that, as the galaxy's best fighter, he deserves the money and power he's accumulated over the years. So this is really a PR match for It's Me Austin, but Free Swordfighter has come to really show people who boss. And these are probably... And show me Austin, It's Me Austin as well. It's, like, that's... I, oh, I feel like these two me's are the ones who would hate each other the most. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. But it's me, Austin, has to put on a good, healthy public facade. So he's still trying to act friendly, even though he is he is boiling with rage right now. Yeah. <laughs> They're Free most definitely going at, at each other, too. Like, this is Free's like... going for it. Free's down one. Oh. Hello? As part of the PR stunt, it's me, Austin, did give Free a hug. <laughs> oh, yes. So... Also, I'm very happy that we, I, like, in hindsight, I wasn't planning on this originally, but I'm happy that instead of making, like, a copyright safe version, we just straight up leave with Love Connie. Because now that we have real people in the tournament, we can also establish that It's Me Austin is a separate entity from the real Vince McMahon, <laughs> who is an actual awful person in real life. Oh! oh that being oh, said, Austin. Oh! It's me, Austin is cartoonishly evil. <laughs> he, yeah. Vince McMahon is a really awful person. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Good memes. Also, though. it's me, Austin, completely <laughs> saved by last second lava. Indeed. Yeah, I wonder. Fact, you know, I'm actually, I'm receiving word. He actually set up for the lava to rise at that exact moment. He set it up. Oh, time. all three are right in a row. All three, we can find it. Get on it. Austin use. set that up too. Oh, 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 get it. Okay, oh, I took it away from him. I just kind of want to get. Like, I'm not rooting for it's me, Austin, but I really want to see them get used. Well, hold your horses. All right, because all right, three, oh, gotta catch the third. Yeah. Oh, yeah! yeah! Zero? Yeah. Yes! Yeah. That's incredible! That's an instant kill, yeah. That Look at that! Really wow. Winning it all. 
Oh, look, there's the PR sign. There's that. Yeah, he's got to look respectable. Yeah. Um, smile, yeah. Three sword fighter moves on, having delivered swift justice onto <laughs> It's Me, Austin. The aftermath of this fight shall be determined later. Because <laughs> I didn't write that far. <laughs> um, Excellent. Do not skip this battle. What is happening with these two here? It's important. Utamashi! <laughs> Having received a tip from his old friend Coptimus, who's still recovering in the hospital after a brutal fight, veteran space cop Copkins has arrived on the scene to investigate the whereabouts of Utamashi. It's his last day before retirement, and he still hasn't met oh, his no. newborn son since he's out of town. Oh, 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 oh. But he's willing to do Coptimus a favor if it means bringing a criminal to justice. <sighs> Having returned to wreak chaos once more, Utamasu was last seen outside King K. Rule's gangplank battle. <laughs> Despite now being a wanted criminal for the murder of Yoshi, he has decided to enter the second Fight Me tournament. Is it for the money, the glory, or is he taunting the space cop force, knowing he can escape from them at any turn? Only time will tell. I believe oh. that Yudamashi is not in it for any of those reasons, and is only here for the blood. Yes. The I... carnage <laughs> that Yudamashi loves inflicting. Are you even game so far? Yeah, the, uh, I think the most prevalent fan theory for why Utamashi has red glasses is that they were actually originally clear, but are now covered in the blood of Utamashi's enemies. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, there goes playing really dangerous game. Playing the edge here. game here. Yeah. That's, that's risky. Oh. Risky. Oh, oh hello. Really close game too. Hopkins holding it up together, despite raising all those flags. <laughs> no. Oh. oh! I didn't know the stage did that! Indeed, well, with stage hazards on. Oh, it's watching uh, the final smash, and in a moment of chaos. Oh. 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 oh! Now, Utamashi has a history of letting his opponents get the final smash in terms of more devious strategy. So, this could be could be up to something here. Oh! Such as that. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, Hopkins is still there! Hopkins is holding on! Yes, but the final smash is not going to And his final smash meter has been. Oh, but he got his oh. back! Oh, 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 the first two stock? Not a three stock, unfortunately, but two stock, there's a chance. I thought we said that Capital Fall no. Cow. Sorry, second. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, my mistake, my mistake. Yeah. But still, it's Copkins. Oh, no. Oh. I don't know, Copkins. I don't think Copkins dies off of this. This is too soon. Yeah. yeah. No, no, he's so good. Oh, oh so man, was quite the combo. Soon. Yeah. I damage there. Come on, Udamashi. You cheering for Udamashi? <laughs> yeah! I kind of am too. I'm not mean, Hopkins. Here's the thing. I, I do need, like, one heal to make it. That's what fun. I was saying. All of my heals keep dying, so, like, I, <laughs> it's gonna make the rest of the tournament boring. Oh, the Hopkins has a dragoon! Oh! oh! That's it! Yeah! 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 With ease, Udamashi is. He's been arrested, I'm getting word. <laughs> Being taken to prison. <laughs> For his numerous crimes. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> An interesting yeah. turn of events. Um, Damn. It's just taking us like, longer than I thought, so we gotta move on fairly quickly. We do have a good combo coming up. Eager to avenge his fallen comrade Free Swordfighter from the last tournament, even though Free Swordfighter is fine. And to prove his devotion, Free Brawler has entered back into the fray, lending aid to his fellow de defect Free Gutter. Itching for a fight as always, and listening to Free Swordfighter's instructions through an earpiece, Free Brawler is here to win, and may be playing a little too rough to get there. <laughs> Still wearing the bloodstained tuxedo he wore when he shot his evil ex-girlfriend, uh -oh. Standish is back from the dead and eager uh -huh. to prove his worth in the field. Yeah! You know, like his character development in every episode. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> However, in light of recent events, he has a more pressing goal on his mind. At all costs. Hashtag, save Whiskey Cavalier! Woo! Wait, just to clarify, if Standish wins... All major networks are legally required <laughs> to yes. put Whiskey Cavalier on. Yes. Correct. We'll actually have like five different season twos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What? Oh, 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 this is going. This, this is going might be terribly. Might, be our first three might spot. not be ready for field work. No, he's still a little hurt this from the uh, season one finale. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, no three stock. No three stock. And we've seen people come back from worse. And Sanders does have yeah. a final smash if he can use it properly. Yeah, and I would say the. The Me Gunners is probably the best final smash. Also, on a stage this small, I think mm. comebacks are very easy. Yeah. It didn't take out one time, It just needs to though. avoid this final smash. But this actually might be it if you Free Baller can hit it. Mm -hmm. Standish giving his all, though, trying to keep his distance. Have we seen a Me Brawler yet miss a final smash? Yes, Utamashi has, possibly uh. on purpose. <laughs> This might be it. Yeah, this might be it. Yeah, this is gone. Oh, oh this is Roy. It's quick. Well, Standish is now Free Brawler, sitting. Free Brawler's fist goes straight Get through Standish's out. chest, and we cut to black before we find out what happens here. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. All right. Wait, wait. What is this? What? This seems interesting. What could be happening here? What? <laughs> Realizing she will never find peace until she can bring freedom to the million of millions of Mii's held prisoner in the Mii Foundation factories, Free Gunner is ready to step back into the spotlight. Having gained a following in the underground, she has the full support of the people behind her as she tries to gather even more funds for the revolution she oh. knows must come. Oh! In the aftermath of the first Fight Me tournament, It's Me Austin sought out the person who first reported the defects escape. Another me gunner who, upon being offered a way out, declared, Nice try, but I'm no defense. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Austin, offered this loyal gunner a new opportunity to prove herself. Enter me, you gunner, the me foundation's loyal watchdog, having undergone additional experimentation and having scanned free gunner's moves to become a fighter to surpass all others and to track down the defects once and for all. And we're about even, it looks we're like. We're about even, which is wild, because Free took Miyu's first stock without taking any damage. But then Miyu was able to kill Free Gunner at only 20%. Miyu is learning. <laughs> yeah. So yes, Miyu gets stage? smarter as the more battles she fights. And she gets smarter faster. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, a box. What's the oh, box? A shield. A shield? Yeah, that seems to be composed from Gunner Palpshire's head. That's strange. Oh! So mm -hmm. if you just, like, continually run to one of these two sides, will you fall off the stage? Yes, or... you'll you just explode. Yeah. Damn it! You'll just explode. Uh, Note, open up my despite this crackers. being curved, Not as does the fact that if you run off one Let side, you die... Indicate that Nintendo believes that the world is functionally flat. Potentially. Not that's actually flat, just functionally flat. Uh, cur oh. uh, it's actually oh, 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 it's a oh. parabola. The Earth is a parabola. Oh. Parabola Earth oh. conspiracy? Well, yes. it's the that. idea that the Earth is generally flat, though there might be individual sets of curves. Uh, like, because I don't think flat Earthers don't believe in mountains, right? <laughs> right. I mean, uh, oh. they, they oh, no. oh, wasted. Oh, yeah. there. Flat Earthers already believe that the world is flat. They may not believe in mountains. I'm not sure. I feel like I, I can't see the full curvature of the Earth. Have you ever seen the Earth and a mountain in the same room? No, uh, I haven't. Thank you for checkmate, me. round Earthers. <laughs> oh, this doesn't oh. look good for Free Gunner. No, <laughs> but it's... she has her final smash and now Hollow Knight. Her Chuck Come. Knight. If Free loses, then... Oh! Oh, oh she got shit! Oh. Yeah! And my heels keep dying! <laughs> Yay! I feel like there's only one heel left, and it's a heel I'm okay. kind of rooting for anyway. She Your looks heels? dead inside with that uh, clap right now. Yeah. Wow! That's such the an empty clap. clap. I, yeah, think I think it's the purple eyes. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a wide-open purple eyes. Yeah. Oh, you don't like the purple eyes? Not really, though. I love Daenerys. Yeah. What, did all the freeze make it? All right. Did all the free fighters? Make it? All the freeze are in it. In oh. fact, well, we'll get to that when we get to it. But Ooh. all right, next up, let's get this battle. I love Edge by it, but I'm pulling for Mr. Chef is. I need to check all my lore to see if Edge by must have anything happened. 
I'm okay with that by winning this one. Oh, it is, is a little Link. Link. It's Conductor Aww. Link. So I love cute. that. He's a friend. He looks so happy. I'm yeah. rooting for him. Oh, is that, that, is that a, is that a stage insane. hazard right See, there? This, uh, this stage is actually based off the hit-selling game Train Simulator Hyrule Edition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh! That's that gruesome death. right there. I love wow. Hazards. Oh. That was great. Mr. Chef, not prepared for the train to come undone. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That was crazy. Mr. Chef did all the work, then Edge oh. Bike came in just to snag the final smash. Oh, you guys get one? Anyway. Oh, boy. Stop, stop, stop. There's some weird movement Frank here. Going wrong. Oh, no. Mr. Chef has the uh, final smash, but they're both they're both in, in danger. danger. Right in front of the train. <laughs> Grave danger. Oh! oh. Chef oh takes the lead! My son! Come on, Ed Spy. Make him awaken. Oh god, I have no. Oh, there's Ed Spy. Standing in front of the cliffs. <laughs> You'll note there that for a moment, Edge Spy was literally marginalized, being yeah. pushed off the screen. Excellent. I mean. Not excellent, but <laughs> excellent. It's part of the character development. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Good night. Oh, uh, but he manages to stay, stay yeah. on it. Oh, oh it's by lost the yes. Oh boy. Come on. Things still not looking great for Edge by. Come on, Edge by. Oh God, one of them's. Oh. oh. When it dies, it comes immediately back. Did not know that about the Dragoon pieces. Oh, oh that's a bold move. move. But he got... No, wait, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Oh, is this one to be it? Oh, no, Mr. Chef. Careful is... on those tracks, Mr. Chef. <laughs> what? Oh, what is that right now? This is a dangerous <laughs> game. Uh, Link's just trying to transport good... Some good... Some good... See, little cars for people. It's Link's new job. A bold, a bold strategy staying on the sidelines. Edgeby's not doing too good. Come on, buddy. Oh, no! no! Uh, I mean, Edgeby does live on the edge, so yes. it makes yes. sense. A villain does move on. Mr. Yes. Jeff did my sexual uh, awakening. Well, I'm... I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I did just receive word that Mr. Chef is in fact uh, baking some cookies for Edge by. Why must we like him so? <laughs> because, because I wrote it ahead of time. Victory. I wrote it ahead of time. And I didn't expect all the villains to die. So <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, we still have. We, we have, have one villain left. We have one fascist left. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I'm getting word. Capital Falco sees the red on left Connie's shoes and suspects her of being a communist. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, um. As much as I hate to say it out loud, it is, it is the heel we're talking about. I believe Captain Falco is also upset that there's a woman fighting. Ah, <laughs> yes. And is in fact even more confused because the woman also seems to be a man. Good. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Captain Falco <laughs> and his fascist sensibilities are really not sure what to make of that. Excellent. Love fun is not here. Oh, Captain Falco almost has charged. Oh, the, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh! What a move! A lot of chasing, a lot of chasing. We have a fake smash ball and a real smash ball on the field. Will they be able to tell the difference? 
It seems like it. They do seem to be avoiding the. Never mind! Oh, oh wait, no. Oh! oh! Connie survived! Perhaps, oh. perhaps a tactical move by Love Connie. Excellent. Oh. Oh! So the no. I don't that one! I don't think we've seen this before! Oh. 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 A little oh. too far away. Yeah. It's somewhat effective, not but not quite nearly as enough. Not use, but two very weak uses. Of yeah. Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Who's gonna? Oh. Okay. That that pretty much sums up this match as a whole. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the second time that someone's activated an explosion that hit both parties. Ooh, Love Connie just barely getting that grab. That was almost really unfortunate for Love Connie. She knows where she's at. Also, I just want to say, I just want to brag a little bit at how long it took me to figure out how to give Capitao Falco an eye mask. <laughs> the bottom of it is in fact his eyebrows. <laughs> ah! Oh! Down and oh. adjusted to beneath his eyes. Oh. Yeah, I'm really impressed by how good this looks. Because I, yeah. I tinkered around with it a little and I was like, yeah, you just can't get it to look that good. <laughs> this is impressive. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, oh, barely. Oh! 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 I have no Ouch! idea what just ah! happened. It bounced off the road. Right, the road on the side. Yeah, welcome to Mario Kart. <laughs> oh! oh! This is a game oh, changer. Love Captain Connie. Falco's oh, it's not a game changer. Oh! 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 Get back. We're about even here. Oh, this could be it! Oh, oh, it's oh, over! Oh, 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 a heel finally moves on. Oh. Capital Falco, happy that communism has been defeated. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That facial expression. If only temporarily. The eye mask really looks so good. Yes. And now that I know it's just really low eyebrows, I don't know how to feel. <laughs> I, I feel don't good. Don't think about it. Yeah. Alright, we have another round coming up. We've got Hopkins versus Free Swordfighter. Hopkins getting word that there's still defects on the loose. Could this be the suspect he's been looking for? He's already nabbed one criminal today, but is there another that he needs to oh bring to justice? No. Oh god, we no. thought Capitan Falcao was the only heel remaining. Hopkins doesn't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Hopkins is Hopkins. just doing his job. Yeah. We love the ignorant fool. But now, just, yeah. just doing my job. But the Chris, worst excuse for terrible behavior. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but legitimately he's unaware of all right. the things going on. Yeah. But we cannot pretend that Hopkins is not complicit. <laughs> Uh, free sword fighter in the meanwhile is gonna fight for his life. He knows that Copkins is on the Space Cup force and he knows that he cannot get caught or things will go badly. By the way, if anyone wants a slice of pizza, feel free. Thank you very much. I will take you up on that. I will take one as well. How many people would like to guard it? Wow, you might be limited now. There are three rounds going to give one other No, you can give one to Galactic Hero and one to Frodo. <laughs> no, you can have one. The Rider of Honor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I did There's write, I did write, I did write all the story the for Fight Me, thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not looking good for three. Indeed, Copkin still has three stock, although three does have. Oh, they, they both, both have the final smash, smash now. Smash. Oh. 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 That, that was quite the finisher. Well done, Copkins. There's capability for a three stock here, although Copkins is on high damage. And there he goes. Oh. That being said, Free Surfer just got his up in another final smash. Things looking. Things are looking. Our fi fighters have come back from far worse. True. That being said, Copkins is. Not, is not holding him. back. He's here to do his job. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh he jumps oh, into it. it. Even with his Tanuki suit, he could have avoided it the whole time. Copkin's really not sure how to use items. He's used to just giving a standard issue equipment. 
prefers things the old-fashioned way. Back when there was no revolution. <laughs> Back before. Back before. Uh, dark times. Yeah. <laughs> things not looking good for free sword fire, but it's not over yet. Uh, no one seems focused on that. Oh! oh! We now have oh. Free Sword Fighter also under arrest, being taken into the same cell as Utamashi. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Against no. all odds. Bye. Does Bye anyone get face. kind of a Ken Bone vibe? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, does He's everyone so remember that guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The state moves on. <laughs> yes. And now we have an interesting battle. We oh, have free what? brawler versus uh, free runner. One is a former champion. The other wants to prove himself as the strongest fighter of the defect squad. Um, yeah, yeah, I think this is a I think this is a fairly friendly match, but they're both playing to win still for sure. Um, definitely, you know, no life on the line, but it, not, it, it might strain the friendship. You know? They're not going to be holding back. I'll tell you that. I forget, does, um, what are each of their feelings, respectively, on the revolution against the state and it's me, Austin's empire? Free Brawler does pretty much whatever Free Sword Fighter says. In oh. fact, Ooh. up until now, <gasps> oh, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna free yourself. Ooh. Free no, yourself, she did. Um, um, up until now, Free Gunner has been operating under instructions from Free Sword Fighter in an earpiece. But it seems like Free Brawler is now fighting on his own. We'll see if he'll be able to adjust to that. But Free Brawler is just he, he, he just is a huge admirer of Free Sword Fighter, who is firmly on the side of justice and revolution. Free Gunner wanted a quiet life, but she's starting to realize that revolution may in fact be inevitable, and if that's the case, she needs to be there to help out. So, especially since she's established herself to be so great. Uh, yes, yeah. there's, a, there's now a following around here. She also has Tiki, which is one of the best assist trophies. That may help around here. But oh yeah. my oh. god! Um, what wow. was... Yeah. Good lord. It's a dragon. Um, oh my gosh. Do we have Euron here to <laughs> save it? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no! We need more heals, I told you. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, they're all fairly on the same page, but they still have their slight disagreements here and there. And Gunner is definitely coming into her own as more of a leader. Yes. Ooh. Oh. Slightly reluctantly. She doesn't. Does want she anything. lose? Oh, she gains her final smash and then has it drop down. Exactly. Uh, uh, good timing on Free Baller's part. He seems to have been learning, perhaps watching other fights and. and uh, Taking advice from them. Yeah, Free Gunner is still in a not Free, comfortable Free, lead. That's a comfortable. I would say it's comfortable lead. Now. Okay, yeah. it's now a comfortable lead. And she's not about the time to get I her began. final smash though. Free Brawler could also get. Yeah. Oh. Uh, or could I try? Because it almost seems so <laughs> yes. there. He is a Oh, brawler. she he stole it. Recovery. Oh, oh, oh just barely clips. Makes oh. a hit. Gets gets get some damage in there. Oh, oh no two stock on the table. One big hit, that's all you need. That being said, things still not looking great for Free Brawler. Though but Free he about to get his his final smash. Is Free Gunner done playing around to see this oh. Does she realize that Free Brawler oh. Isn't quite ready for this role. Oh, she needs God. to show him oh, that God. even though she doesn't want it, she's still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that was huge! Oh, but the heart container still three, helped him out. Three quite missed a bit. that, but that heart. She doesn't want it, but she she is the best person for the job. That being said, Free Brawler now not in the lead, but having made a good recovery. And if he picks up that Franklin badge, and he didn't, so never mind. <laughs> Would have helped against frequent attacks, which were mostly range, but he's not that. He's still, he's still, he's trying still to, learning. Yes. Oh, oh that a spike that you recovered from? Yes. That's impressive. A oh boy, block. the pow block, that my possibly. favorite item. A little bit of chaos. Oh, oh reflection! Did you see that? Whoa! Reflection. This is wild. I don't. Oh my god! I don't think play around I'm amazed that no one died. Oh. There's the pow block. <laughs> She, oh! Oh! Free Brawler moves on. Free Brawler 
starts to leave a little bit more mental shit before he's ready for a Free Gunner, best girl. Free Gunner moves on, wow. doing particularly I, well. What are, what happens if Free Gunner three peats? You know, we know they're gonna be three of these. She's doing pretty well in this one. Yeah, we're at the well, semifinals. She's final. doing pretty well. But let's not count our chickens before they hatch. Also, <laughs> oh, we have no. two no brawlers remaining: two gunners and two sword fighters in the semis. Now. We have an, an interesting matchup I wasn't quite expecting. <laughs> but I believe there's something prepared. I need to find it, but there is something prepared. <laughs> For this odd combo. Um, <laughs> uh, Capitao Falco realizes that Mr. Chef seems to have a, a, a love for sweets and desserts. And... Um, is is now eager to try his advanced interrogation technique on such a vulnerable adversary. <laughs> <laughs> For those uninitiated, his technique involves alternating feeding captives delicious pastries and beating them demanding information. But first he has to defeat and capture Mr. Chef before he can try this te this devious technique. <laughs> it's been too long since I've seen that. Yeah, we got well, see here's the thing. We were supposed to have a screening of it on, uh, I think it was, what, the 25th anniversary of the Portuguese Revolution? However, for some reason, Marvel thought it would be a good idea to have Avengers Endgame come out on that day. This is why I'm nervously watching if it's going to beat Avatar. You know, had it done it on a less uh, busy weekend, surely it would have destroyed Avatar. But timing it with the anniversary of the Portuguese Revolution... That, that cuts down on your revenue yeah, there. Yeah, it does. You lose that valuable Portuguese market. Revolution. Oh. oh. Things looking about oh. even. The fact that this is a runoff makes this match go a little bit faster, it seems like. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mr. Chef, do a pretty good oh. job! Oh. Keep oh. it hey. Communism reigns supreme, in his oh, eyes anyways. <laughs> Captain Scott Falco skulks off, claiming that the tournament has been rigged. Mr. Chef <laughs> is terrifying. He has no face. Mr. Chef. Maybe he was blown off. It's a helmet. <laughs> Mr. Chef. No. That's his face. <laughs> Who do you think Mr. Chef is based on? What do you mean? Oh, do not... Oh. I would have assumed that Giraffe would know. I tried to make it look similar. I think ah. it looks similar! I have never played those games and I recognized it. It's pretty low. Uh, um, anyway. Now we have Hopkins versus Free. Hopkins recognizes another defect! Oh, no. Can he oh, have no. three and one? Oh, that no. would be something. Oh no, Copkins. No, Copkins is so well intentioned, but he needs to challenge his beliefs more. He, has, he hasn't been exposed to the defect philosophy. He doesn't understand. The Ashley song is so maybe, good. Maybe Free could talk to him. Don't move! They're. They're choosing to move. Actually, I'm no, actually, free, no, I no it does count as movement. Not the bees! Look yeah. out! Whoa. The bees! Look out! The bees did- Oh, oh no! no. no. Is does Copkins get a bonus? He does! Nice. Oh. He struck her down, and he gets Starman! Oh, that's a really good one. Oh. If it can hit, but apparently it can't. So actually, no, don't worry. Yeah, Copkins, Copkins beating down on the little guy. Yeah, Popkin seems to have called in backup. Starman working for space. Oh, and place. he's gone. Starman is gone. Without oh, single no! hit. Nice. Ah. Jump, jump, jump. They didn't jump. Oh! oh. Neither of them jumped. They really I'm not going to play the Smash Ball, though. Free Gunner's got yeah. it. Popkin's about to get his, though. We could be having a final smash off. Oh! oh. fighting for her life, she cannot be taken to prison because then only Free Brawler would be left and he's not ready. Oh god. Chisel? No one's chiseling. 
Chisel! No. Oh! Oh! oh. I we think, almost uh, chiseled it a little! I think we, you have to complete the chisel for it to count. Oh, I, I know, but we didn't even try. I didn't even try. They almost accidentally chiseled. Oh, no! I feel like it should be kind of run like the, the Night's Watch in the Game of Thrones board game, where whoever like chisels the most still gets something, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, you tried? Hopkins is using that heal sphere to good effect. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I feel like it, it would have been better used. Pop. Pop. No one popped it. There was only one, and they still didn't do it. I'm intrigued, because when wow. I play on this Forsaken stage, both me and the person I'm playing against will often not do it, but I would have assumed that, like, the computer AI would play the game. Yeah, the computer, like, objectively doesn't care about it. No, no, Kalkin no, has, has smash. smash. Will he use it well, or is he not well trained in such advanced oh. equipment? He's, I mean, he's retiring. Wait. He's kind of an old hat. Guys, do you think? Oh, the beetle! The beetle! Oh, he survived. He survived. Oh, the arrow. And I think Kalkin gets a bonus from that as well. He's giant. Oh, do we think no. there's a chance? Which he's gonna do extra oh, damage. Is... Oh! Oh! No, no free no! feet. Oh. Oh my god! god. Now, this story. Utamashi, free swordfighter, and free gunner are all in the same cell. They're all gonna die in Cockins. there! Cockins, moving on, he's about ready to retire, but he's got one more fight in him. Let's see what happens. Whoa, one Whoa. more fight before he retires! Yeah. No! Gotta go see his newborn son! Oh my god! He wants, to, doing he so wants to make his son proud, so he's gonna finish this tournament. He's gonna see it through to the oh, end. So, bad. without further ado, our final match, two gunners, two newcomers, Mr. Chef versus Hopkins, on the crab stage with the giant enemy crab! So we know that Hopkins is complicit in the crimes of the state, however, if, if Mr. Chef loses, we'll go to a life of baking, which, which seems kind of good. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of the best outcome for Mr. Chef. So... I don't know who I'm rooting for, but for very different reasons. <laughs> I'm obviously rooting against Copkins because taking down the revolutionaries. Well, I mean, they're already complicit. arrested. I guess he is complicit, but Copkins being defeated is not going to change. But anything. also, I'm rooting for Mr. Ooh, Chef. Bomberman, can Bomberman make his way up? Ooh. Oh, oh, he drops down. I'm rooting for Mr. Chef as a person, and I feel like it's best for Mr. Chef. If he goes to a life of bacon. Giant enemy crab, they both get hit! Or a bomberman and the get hit. God, that thing is so horrifying. Oh my god. What is that? What is this stage from? Pikmin. Oh no. Copper's got a final smash. They mispronounced hell. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's over. Oh! oh no! no! Oh, it's it's not not over! The X military! Incredible! Oh, uh, that's just sad. Also, Copkin's only one dragoon piece away from snagging it. Oh, he's dropped one, and Mr. Chef has it without even here. Even on dragoon pieces. Yes, but also like they're not too. It's not a comfortable lead for. It's not a comfortable lead, but Copkin's definitely in oh, the lead. Mr. Mr. Chef is? going for his final smash, and Copkins doesn't figure seem to figure out how that twig works. <laughs> You can just jump over it. Oh, uh, onion crab. Oh, is that? Oh, crab. yes! He's invincible during the final smash. He avoided the enemy crab. crab. Is... Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, he almost got taken off the stage by enemy crab using Mr. the Mr. Chef has two. Copkins has one. The Dragoon is in sight. There's one here. Hmm. I'm impressed that Mr. Chef didn't lose any of the pieces there. Oh. Still has not lost any of them. Oh. oh! 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 This is risky. That poise system is very. Oh! 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 Not only is Hopkins gone, but the dragoon piece Mr. should Chef fall. Can grab it. If Mr. Oh, Chef can get it, Hopkins doesn't yes. understand what this what these pieces oh. mean. He doesn't know this. No, oh, he got it. He got it. He got back. He's got a bad feeling about it. He knows he <laughs> can't let Mr. Chef have it. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 It did not pay off. <coughs> Hopkins sees another piece. And he gets it. Oh, my. Oh, God. Mr. Chef has the baseball bat? He's got it. But he's used to the range weapons. He doesn't know how to use these melee weapons. Oh, he's 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 trapped. Oh, oh, he's 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 oh, oh the Okay, three to good piece. Alright. But Calkin's about to get his final smash. 
But Mr. Chef not letting him have it. Oh, is that? Oh, he oh, oh, it. Oh. Oh. And that was good enough. Good enough. He's still in it. Yeah, he did the best he could with that setup. Also, still did not lose a Dragoon piece. This is quite the finale here. This is very close. Two gunners at the top of their game. One retired, one about to retire. <laughs> what so, will happen? Are we sure it's the top of the game? <laughs> oh, oh, the blue arrow. Oh, 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 these two oh. souls just fighting for the glory. There's nothing oh, on the line the except glory. Oh, I feel like oh, Mr. Chef's career is on the line. Mr. Chef realizes he accidentally put his blaster on kill. <gasps> he looks over, and Copkins' smoking corpse <laughs> lies there in ruin. <laughs> oh. Mr. Chef, oh. heavy is the head that wears the crown. Now, fully feeling guilty for having murdered his last opponent. He wanted to have a nice friendly match, but it just wasn't it wasn't in the cards for him. He just pushed it too hard. This is why he retired in the first place, so he wouldn't have to kill anymore. And he, he's just brought back into it. In the meantime, let me pull up the actual one that I wrote for him. <laughs> um, well, he was planning on baking a cake for everyone he fought. Oh. A four-tiered cake, and each uh, person gets uh, part of the tier that they made it to. Um, but so the first person to go gets the most cake. Actually, sorry, I made a mistake. Um, each fighter gets a piece of the cake. If you only, if you're only in round one, you get a slice of the bottom tier. If you made it to round two, you get a slice of the bottom and the second tier, etc. However, his plans are ruined. He's just depressed now. He just killed someone on accident. He's heading to bed, telling everyone, wake me when you need me. <laughs> <laughs> and thus Good ends, reference. fight me too. Oh. Until the next round. Note, note that despite being an ex-military man, took down two separate manifestations of the state. Indeed. Between Capitao yes. Falcao and Copkins. Yes. Yes. Um, also grappling with his own... Not the <laughs> I'm trying to make sure there's not no other like lore reveals that I missed. I think I got most of them. I think at one point I want you to sneak in one CPU that's level one. <laughs> I can, I actually considered lowering Copkins's, <laughs> but ironically, oh and he made it. He made it to the finals, um, but was still murdered. Yes. <laughs> I that also was the plot all along. yes. I had it written for his ending. If Hopkins somehow wins, then this is what will happen. What what would what would have happened? Uh, he gets to he, 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 doesn't, he doesn't die. Ah. He, he wins. Um, but that, if if he lost either one, he was dead. He, if he if he lost anyone, he died. Yeah. Um, things despite so many heels dying or losing. Things still looking somewhat bleak. Yeah. yeah. We have free sword fighter in jail with Utamashi and free gunner. Only free brawler is left to represent the revolution. The tint of Utamashi's glasses grows every day. It's me, Austin. <laughs> May have lost the battle, but perhaps he lost, he lost intentionally, knowing that Hawkins was on the chase yeah. and could arrest him by legal, legitimate means. <laughs> Was this all part of It's Me Austin's plan all along? <laughs> Who will know? Will Whiskey Cavalier be renewed for season two? Probably not! <laughs> See you guys next time! <laughs>